WTFNN. Headline news update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish down 30, NASDAQ off 8, S&P's down 5. Bottom line, folks, you get a sideways market, light volume. You get Columbus Day, banks are closed. Uh, a lot of traders are not, are not out here. Gold, gold contract up $7.50, trading at $14.96 an ounce. We had silver up 13 cents, $17.67 an ounce. Now, what both gold as well as silver had done last Friday, it, it did reject lower price, had lighter volume as it traded back into its breakout area. What I expect we're going to see out here now is you're going to build some cause. What is cause? Cause is a sideways to slightly higher movement, drive people crazy one, two weeks, whatever that is, and then take off topside once again. Oil market, oil market down a buck 25 today, $53.45. Oil, bottom line, continues to trade at a lower price, notwithstanding the type of volatility that we have over in the Middle East. That is telling me that, uh, number one, oil's really weak, and the lower end of this consolidation is $50, and I guess uh, I expect that that's exactly what we're going to go after. King dollar, King dollar up 221 ticks, trading 98,522. What King Dollar did do last week is that it got inside its lower range. It stuck its nose outside in the higher range once again today. We'll see how this shakes out tonight. The euro is at 110. The pound, the yen is at 108. And the pound is at 125. The pound is the, number, the thing to keep your eye on. The, the pound as well as the uh, euro, folks. The pound as well as the euro. On Friday, they had the pound definitely moved higher with strength. The euro just moved higher. Uh, the pound went from a price point of 122 all the way up to 127. It looks like it wants to run up to this 131 to 133 area. The euro, what you had with the euro, uh, euro out here, pushed slightly higher. Uh, you know, we, we pushed from 109 up to uh, 110. Uh, I suspect what we're going to see here, well, no, what we, we want to see here is wide price spread inside the euro. Because if that's what you get, the euro is 60% of, of the dollar index. Uh, bottom line, pound, I don't have the exact number. Uh, it's a lot smaller than 60, though. That pound starts moving higher. You'll see that dollar start pulling back. Volume out here was light. You can expect it to be light. Bottom line, we'll see some action. You get the bank earnings start tomorrow. Kick off the earnings season. You can expect a lot of volatility coming down in this market. To recap, Dow Industrials down 29, Nasdaq off 8, S&P's off 6. We look forward to speaking there right back here tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock.